Gametes are special cells that are only used in sexual reproduction. Sperm and egg cells are gametes that are made during meiosis in the sexual organs of both males and females. Human gametes are haploids. This means there is only one complete set of 23 unique pieces of DNA from the parent from which they are made. Male gametes are sperm cells containing 22 autosomes and a single sex chromosome, either an X or a Y chromosome, for a total of 23 chromosomes. Female gametes are egg cells containing 22 autosomes and a single sex chromosome. That is always an X chromosome for a total of 23 chromosomes. Fertilization is the union of two haploid gametes to form the first diploid cell. This new cell, called the zygote, is diploid because it now contains two complete sets of 23 chromosomes, one set from each parent, for a total of two sets, or 46 chromosomes total. This zygote is also the first somatic cell of the new offspring. This zygote will go through mitosis, making exact copies of itself over and over, and the development of the new offspring begins. Each new cell of the offspring will have the exact same DNA as the original zygote. Cells that contribute to the physical structure and physiological function of a living organism are called somatic cells. Remember that when fertilization occurs, the egg cell has 22 autosomes plus an X sex chromosome and the sperm cell has 22 autosomes plus either an X or a Y sex chromosome. This means that when the sperm and egg cells fuse together during fertilization, it will be the sex chromosome contributed by the sperm cell that will determine the gender of the offspring. In humans, if the sperm contributes an X to the egg's already present X, then the combination of XX will develop into a female offspring. If the sperm contributes a Y to the egg's already present X, then the combination of XY will develop into a male offspring. Thank you.